time! It is time. Welcome back. Time for episode 49. With Biani B and Al Rogers. On the biggest podcast in the Southern <laughs> Hemisphere. <laughs> Don't look it up. I, I, I did it too early, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, was, it was dramatic effect, all right? It's dramatic yeah. effect. Yeah. How, how good... I still can't get over we found these. Didn't we find these last episode? Last episode. And I actually completely forgot about... Like, <laughs> Seth has like, literally sprayed all my sound bites with his voice on American. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's I great. actually didn't even... I think I said the last episode. I was like, mate, are they actually Seth? Like, they actually sound... It sounds like... When you're looking for sounds and then you find those like real shitty ones, but like those, but like you just like, you know, I and mean? they're just good quality still. Um, no, they're good. Yeah, they actually are very good. Mate, do you, do you say shitty quality? He's going to be watching like, can't you yeah. old bro. When I say shitty quality, I mean, you're like, <laughs> you know what, you know what I mean? They're good quality, but shit. Yeah, man. You don't, but, have, oh, you don't, good. You, you don't have to explain to me, mate. Explain, I'm digging myself explain, a deeper ex- hole. Explain to him. Yeah. There's a hole that's getting dug. Explain to him deep. when he wants to throw a head butts. All right. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> mate. What's been happening with you, my my guy, since last week? No, not much, mate. I've actually, I haven't changed since last week. Mm. No, to be honest, I actually <laughs> wore the same jumper because I'm trying to get that um that front runner sponsorship. <coughs> yeah. from, from Tim Hanley. He'll it's be watching. Not going well. It's not going well. Not going well. Haven't yeah. haven't received a DM. No, they no. I got a DM. Oh, you got a DM. Yeah, yeah. They mm. said let's go, and I said let's do. Let's do. And they didn't reply. Except we have to pay them. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's but the downfall. Don't worry about that, mate. It's all, it's all fun. It is fun. Fun and games. Now we have a um a special. I'd say special episode. This one we haven't done something like this in a in a very long time. Speaking Internet. of Blake, it was like maybe around Christmas time we last spoke about our full episode about us and kind of where we want to go. And I think it's exciting because it's it, we want to we want to branch out. But uh, before we get too into it, Blake, I think it's time to cue the intro, mate. Is this the Tea House Podcast? Bam, bam. Get you in the mood, that song, doesn't it? It actually is a fucking vibe. It's a big vibe. It goes for so long. Hey. So long when you're just sitting here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just looking at each other, just waiting for it. Yeah. It was actually way funny on our last one because me and you were like dancing the whole time. And I'm actually wrapped because I was like, fuck, am I going to sit there and just dance the whole time? Yeah. But then I was like... And oh, then I put the thing over Yes, it. and I was like, yes. <laughs> Couldn't even I, see it. That's yeah. what I needed. Yeah, yeah so that's I, good. I was doing some um, some definitely Donald Trump dance moves. I was doing some, yeah. It's no good. I hope you like it. It's kind of like our new way to do the intro, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Try it's it tough. out. Let us know. Let us know. Send a DM. Send a DM. <laughs> Send a DM. Yeah, we had our weekly catch up. What was it? I was actually going to talk about something that happened to me. Oh, it was my birthday on Saturday. Oh, yes. That's what it was. It was your birthday. And I tried to see him for it, but he uh, didn't want to see me. Caught, yeah. Caught all the odd boys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I, you, know what I, you know what I did? I didn't even wish to kind of happy birthday. I was like, fuck him. To be fair, on my actual birthday, the only person I saw was Keely. And then I had a wedding. So those people, but. And then I got home and I just could not be fucked doing anything. And then I didn't even see my mum and dad on my birthday. I was, it was, I, man, birthdays are really weird. I get like really like, I just don't know how to feel on my birthday. Cause it's like, it's sort of weird. Cause you, you're sort of celebrating your parents having sex. That is true. <laughs> Fucking big ups to them. <laughs> big ups to them. <laughs> no, how old are you now, mate? 25, quarter to hundred. Yeah. 25 feels weird. Yeah, 25 feels way older than 24. It sort of is a weird, yeah, it does. Like I'm like, you're a bit, get those wrinkles away, fella. I know. Um, but yeah, it's sort of weird because we are getting to that age. Like I personally think I'm still 21 and I can party forever and stuff. But like the mm. fact is I am getting older. See, I was going to say old, but I'm not I'm getting older. Old, older. Yeah. He, he's old. I'm older. I'm very, very old. That old that I actually went out for wines on Sunday. Yeah. No beers. He's been doing that for years though. So he's. To be fair, went back to the maze. It was drinking VB, so... Oh, brag about it. Still got that in me. <laughs> I actually generally... This is no joke. I generally rate VBs. How weird is that? I could just... No, I do. I could buy like... Yeah, I could just drink them for a night, generally. Yeah, I like And them. I never thought I could. And then my brother like came over and was like drinking VBs. I was like, what the fuck do these taste like? Because my memory was just like they were garbage. But, facts though, as soon as they heat up... Oh, yeah. That's like any beer though. That's like any drink. Yeah, I know that. I've Same <coughs> with bourbon, man. Oh, yeah, bur- bourbon's a hard one. But to be honest, I'm not a big Coke drinker. I hate fucking sugary drinks. Mm. I'm not not a big sugar guy. What about you? 
No, nah, I don't drink any vodka. Like a couple of the boys still drink like UDLs and shit. I'll have like one. I'm like Heart bloated burn. as fuck. Heartburn. I feel like shit. Like, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me anymore. I'd rather just. I'll do, I'll drink UDLs and I yeah, guaranteed I'm throwing up by like 11 o'clock. Yeah. <coughs> guaranteed. Mm. I, I don't, don't say it for much because like everyone's real disappointed in my drinking efforts these days, but mm. I'm just not the old man anymore. Yeah. Just kidding. Now yeah, we got to grow up. We got to grow does? up sometime, mate. Who does? Me. I actually did have to grow up. I was a menace when I got drunk. Yeah. Menace as in like a mess. <laughs> a menace as in he, he, he's a menace to himself. I'm a menace <laughs> to myself. I, yeah, I do bad. Bad things that just... Nearly yeah. drowned, nearly died. Oh, yeah, fuck. True. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I reckon we've actually spoken out in the air when you yeah, fell, we have. fell off the fucking boat, yeah, boat. That was fucked. That's like straight out of a movie scene. 100% what I did. Oh, 100. But in the good movies, like you wouldn't have got back up. Yeah. That's like one of those really sad movies where it's like a party and then like they uh, yeah, actually die. Yeah. And then they just find you in the, in the morning floating. Have, have you watched Squid Game? Oh, dude, I was actually, I wrote it down to talk about it. I actually was generally wanting to talk about it today. I've watched the, I watched the whole thing, dude. It's that good. It's fucking amazing. Have you it? watched it? Yeah. Did you watch the Korean, like in Korean or did you watch the dub? I watched it in dub. Yeah. But I got told that it messes with the characters a little bit. It's much better in Korean. But I also got, but then I also thought... Is that just the subtitles that shit or is it the actual voiceover that shit? Because what I thought, I thought the subtitles seemed like a lazy version and I thought what the dub was, was like a more explained version, but I could be wrong as well. I think you said that the opposite. No, like for instance, so, because what they were saying is the subtitles sort of ruined it as in like they didn't translate correctly. Is that right? Or is it the dub that didn't translate correctly and fucked it? I found the Korean subtitles awesome because I've watched a movie that was Korean previously and in the dub because I, d- I just thought it came out on Netflix. The dub. I didn't know you could change it back. Mm. Um, and it was, it, was, it was all right, but it was like I couldn't notice it. Like I was like, I could just tell that their voice did not suit the character, the oh, person. Same, but that, what, you know what? You know what would end this problem completely? Mm. If they just fucking get Korean people that speak English to play the characters. Like mm. why the why did they dub them over with white the white guys for? Yeah, that, hey. yeah, I think that's what it is. It's hey there, man. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that is what it is. Don't dub a Korean show with fucking American motherfuckers. Mm. No, nah, but anyway, fucking good show. Rated it. I literally Ooh. binged the fuck out of it. I was like, first episode, I was like, because I just heard things. You know, I seen it on TikTok here and there, and I was like, must be fucking good. I'm gonna watch it. Must be. And then I was, yeah, not surprised because it was elite. Yeah, it was. Good. So many people have watched it too. It's fucking, it's like, what is it? It's like the biggest, going to be the biggest show ever on Netflix, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's got Rick and Morty on there. So just saying. Yeah. And Rick and Morty's like, what, is, is Rick and Morty number one or up there now? Is it? I'm I don't sure know. It's fucking up there. Though. Rick and Morty died off a bit though. They hit, hit and miss seasons that you're in there, mate. I don't, I didn't miss, I don't, I liked the last few seasons though. I okay. love the last season. I reckon last season was fucking top notch. Yeah. Again. 100%. I do agree the one before that. Mm. Wasn't as good as season three, but only because season three was fucking bomb as fuck, cunt. I can't even remember it, mate. Like, I haven't seen the Rick and Morty's in ages. <coughs> haven't you? That was very good. But uh, yeah, you should watch the Squid Game. What'd you think of it? Like the end of it and stuff? Rated Spoiler it. alert. Maybe. I, I knew. I, I, I knew that was going to be him. I what? knew. What do you mean? Oh, like... The spoiler, so I, don't, uh, I hope you're not getting spoiled. The well, old man, I knew it was him. Oh, you knew it was him. I knew that motherfucker was him. See, I knew it was him because I watched... You've watched it before. No, it was a TikTok, and then I was looking through the comments and was like, I can't believe I shed a tear for that old man. Oh, yeah. So I knew something sus was going to happen with him, and yeah. I was like, fuck, what is it? Uh, but yeah. The whole time, I was like, what, what, is, what is it? Straight up, though. Truth. Let's, like, let's just like lay it all out. How much did you cry? On what bit? The old man bit? Oh, I can't. I cried in about four episodes, so like, I don't know. The the worst bit for me was when Sung Woo oh, no. killed the chick. Yeah. Oh, that was fucked. Fuck, that fucked me. I didn't even, that was, I didn't expect that. I did not even expect that. I fucking did. I was like, really? oh. I didn't expect it on that bit though. Because you know, he was like knocking on the door mm. and then the fucking coffin came out and I was like, shoot, motherfucker. Nah, I had a feeling that dirty dog, that fucking cunt. I fucking hate him. <laughs> I hated him too from that moment when he, Dogged him and made him get the umbrella. Oh, the, nah, the fucking uh, Ali. 
yeah, yeah. The yeah. Indian dude? Oh, that, oh, Pakistan dude? Oh, that made me sad too, actually. That was the biggest. And I knew he was going to dog him. Yeah. As soon as he was, he was, as he was about to yeah, lose, I knew he was going to dog it's him. It's because he was dogging people from the, the get-go, from the very mm. fucking start. And he always acted real, real heroic up until it was like his time to like yeah. take the risk and that and mm. that's when you really saw the narcissism come out in the cunt I reckon it was fuck fucking earth fuck that dog I thought he was like gonna redeem himself cause when he like did the umbrella thing it looked like he was gonna stop him and be like oh no come over here cause he knew what the game was yeah but now he didn't yeah like who, what a scumbag cunt he fucking knew what the game was and he's like yeah mate just go over there fucking yeah he was uh, yeah he was he almost turned into the main villain, really, didn't he? He fucking did. Yeah. How good was the villain, dude? The bully guy. He was one of the best characters, I reckon. Yeah, he was. He's come back. Oh, he was a fuckhead, but like very good villain, though. Yeah. He yeah. was an evil motherfucker. Yeah, 100%. No, it was, it was good. Great. I did hate it. was like, it's one of those villains you just. Yeah. I knew he was going to die that way, though. Like the chick was going to kill him. Mm. Mm. Foreshadowing, for sure. Well, uh, there's a lot of clues, like giveaways. Like a, a lot of them died for, like, for hypocritical reasons. Like for instance, the the Ali died because when he took the boss off it, the money off his boss and ran, and then he he died from getting his marbles taken off him. True, true. And then um, Shang Wu. I don't. Know, anyway, let's just. I've forgotten their names and stuff, but don't worry. Shang Wu. Shang Wu. I don't even know the main character's name. His name's weird. It's like Jian Hu yeah. Han or something. <laughs> it's like Fuck, I'm just real. I'm just like how uncultured I am. Yeah. What a piece of poo. Yeah. Anyway, so let's just move on from this subject now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Funny. I did want to talk about that show though because fuck it that good. Yeah. And I, when I watch a good show, I have to like talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it was tough. And I couldn't talk about it today in the office because someone asked me about it, but like the bloke next to me was only on like episode two. Oh, yeah. So we couldn't really go into it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it does suck. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What else do we fucking have to talk about? Should we get into... Um, yeah, let's, let, let's tell them. Let's tell them. Mm, so, well, yeah, what, mainly what we wanted to talk about, Legends, is me and Blake have been talking recently and we actually weren't even going to do it on an episode. Like, this is literally tonight's idea that just popped up. Um, we really are looking to expand the team, but, like, a bit more than we have before. So, like, yeah, we've looked for an editor and stuff, but we really want to do a bit more than that. Yeah, yeah. We want... We want so essentially, yeah, like we want a team. We want that we can bounce ideas off. We want a business, business-minded people. Even, even some hosts. Even some hosts. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's very. Um, I, like I'm not. I'm not even gonna say like we want exact roles. Like yeah, it, it could be broad. Like very broad. Yeah, right? like if people were like messaged us and was like, "Look, I'd love to be a part of the team. Like this is what I think we." I can offer and, and help with or build towards or something like that's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for people that just want to be passionately part of the tea house and, and, and kind of grow with it as well. hundred percent. And just be like fully a part of the team. Like that's kind of exactly what we're looking for. But yeah, as Blake said, mainly what we thought of, like we've been discussing, like we would look for like an editor as well as uh, like a marketer slash so, social networking. Yeah. Socials. Like, cause it would be awesome to have someone specifically control the socials and stuff that way. No one's over overloaded with work and, and as well as having so many people, like so many minds to, 100%. it's just so much more creative <clears throat> possibilities that you can throw at each other. Yeah. And cause we want to like, <clears throat> and the thing is too, we, we're trying to grow this brand to the next level sort of thing. And we also want to grow our individual personalities at that next level. Cause that'll also bring back to the podcast. And that's also what we want to focus on. We want to focus on bringing you guys a part of the team and also like growing like your skills and like improving like what you want to do and stuff like that outside of the tea house. And like, just like all of us sort of growing together Exactly. Yeah. And you don't have to be a professional in any of these things. Like, nah. you know what I mean? If, if you're just like, look, I've never really tried it, but I'd love to control all your social media. And essentially, I forgot that it's actually called. It's called a yeah, social marketer or something. Social marketer. It's marketing anyway. Yeah. But like, you know what I mean? hundred percent. If you're passionate and you feel like you can do it, definitely like jump on hundred percent. And Blake said just before that we even potentially want another host, like fucking earth. Like that's such a different idea. Even if it's not full time and stuff, like <clears throat> if you just want to come on like every second, you want to interview someone every now and then, or like if we get a guest that maybe we think you'd connect with them better than one of us maybe would or something like that, like that's how we sort of want to, because like it'd be sick 
just because it, more at the moment it's a lot of work for just like two or three of us to be like working on sort of one brand but if we get heaps of us it'll all sort of catapult it which will yeah ricochet onto us yes wise words yes saying right there catapult and ricochet but yeah that's exactly right 100 percent and um yeah like as blake said it's like you don't have to be a full-time host like we are every single week like you can yeah are we are we gonna talk about and we just want friends too because we're lonely yeah (laughs) are we gonna wait do we want to talk about like potentially creating more shows as well within yeah so and we want to essentially create like a, a network sort of thing as well so like um, we want to we want to create thi- like content and stuff. And if you want to run your content through our page and stuff like that, you're more than welcome and stuff. We'll we'll help you do it and stuff. We want to sort of grow, yeah. Like even like help like local artists and stuff like that grow and stuff. It'll be sick. Yeah. So if you think that like you have like a a show, for example, and when I say show, I mean like a podcast idea. But you, I would say, lack the quality or production, or you just want us to be involved with it as well. Mm. and join the team still, then you can run your show under the Tea House brand, but still call it your show. Um, and I think that would be awesome because then you can still jump through each other. Like we could jump on your show, you could jump on our show, and it's just a, it's a it'll be like a huge creative like little hub, I 100%. would say. Just, yeah. a, just a good networking community sort of thing. Mm. And like, yeah, 100%. And like, obviously we're still young and stuff, but the, like the main part is like growing the brands and stuff like growing the brands to a point where it is liquidable. And yeah, like we want to, we want to help creators get to that stage. And we also want to be helped get to that stage. So it's, it's selfless, but it's selfish as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But like, that's how you kind of got to do it. Like you've got to, you've got to have, you can't just do everything for the other person. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? You've got to have your own, ambition goal slash thing and and having other people there definitely helps you get towards it quicker yeah i mean 100 yeah and like so like if someone even in like even like an investor like if someone wants to invest in the business with us and like also has like some ideas and contribute contributions that like you want to chuck in definitely let us know and stuff like love to hear from you even like like definitely pitch it anyway sort of thing like we're pretty nice dudes regardless like even if like we don't love the idea or like we don't love it. We still fucking love to hear it and shit. And we'd love to, you know, definitely collab. You know what I mean? Like we don't, like if this isn't for you and stuff, we definitely love to collab with a lot more businesses and um, creators and stuff like that as well, I think too. Yeah, definitely. hundred percent. There's no real, there's no real limit on like what we're kind of, we haven't really put, I would say as much effort into like that kind of side as we probably should, which is kind of why we're, we've been talking about a lot more mm. recently because we, yeah, we do like episodes almost every week, but we we haven't really s- sat down and like expanded. I would say, have we? No. And no. I feel like, yeah, that makes it a little bit harder to. We haven't evolved. Exactly, we haven't evolved. We need to. We need to evolve. And I, yeah, I think expanding is that exact same way. Like, and I know I briefly said before, but um, yeah, and like I know you kind of did with like what you just said, but hit us up with whatever ideas you would have to be a part of the team, and we'd be fucking down for a chat. Like, even if. Even if it's just a skit idea. Yeah, even if it's just a funny fucking video you want to make with us, like 100%, we're down for literally whatever. And as Blake said, if we don't like the idea, don't stress, like it's it's cool. If it's not for us, it's not for us, but fucking we'd just love to hear about it anyway, regardless. So. Yeah, 100%. And like <clears throat> lockdown sort of made me antisocial, so I sort of need help getting out of the house. And if you feel like that too, this is the place for you. Yeah, lockdown has actually made it super fucking hard, eh? Oh, bro. It's mm. like, it's like, Seriously done things to me that I, like, I <laughs> can't even explain yet. <laughs> yeah. Like on the inside, mate, on the inside. Yeah. In the brain, in, in the soul. In the brain, something like a poo-poo valve's busted somewhere or something. I don't know. Yeah. And finally, I think like the kind of last role that Blake's kind of mentioned a, a bit is like an event planning type person would be awesome to have because someone that can help set up places to be or places to go or events to to be a part of yeah it's yeah. definitely something we want to do to to get out there and about because we love it so yeah because we want to start doing more stuff like with the community and stuff like that too so like if someone was keen and like yeah helping us throw parties and like helping us do like meet and greets for like or even like because like our meet and greets for all the fans for all the lovers baby mate there's <laughs> fucking millions of them man. yeah I don't, I don't. nah but like not even necessarily like a meet and greet like for instance nah, like i know what you mean an event we'll, we'll we'll fucking print out posters out and like do signatures we'll sit on the table 
get a free signature. Don't sell it on eBay because we'll, we'll know about it. Yeah, yeah. You'll earn a big buck off it. We'll know. <laughs> I'll buy it off you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just buy it back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but I think that about wraps up what we kind of wanted to say about that. So, um, yeah. yeah, if anyone's fucking wants to be involved, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. It's boys good. or girls, don't be don't be afraid. We're not a boys only fucking potty as well. So, yeah, 100%. Anyone's welcome. 100%. Probably be better with a bit of a diversity, actually. Yeah. Um, also, so think, speaking of evolving, we also wouldn't. We want to start. We want, we want to start taking calls on air. Mm. We want to say start taking calls on air. We want to start doing it live. We're trying to figure out how to do it at the moment, mm. but we want to do that. Our last live was definitely better. It was definitely an upgrade. Definitely better. I I personally love to do it on YouTube. I reckon. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, I'd love to do it on YouTube. Yeah, it'd be cool. Anyone that knows how to do that, fucking hit us up. <laughs> hit us up. Let us know. Let us know. Mm. But anyway, so I got a few little stories that I posted and I just realized one of them's disappeared. So I'm going to read the first one. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite t House episode? And I, like, I honestly thought there'd be way less people commenting, but there is flooded with messages. <laughs> we got fucking two. <laughs> so, but Jotham, he's a real one from the Zyron boys at 33 with the Zyron boys. Oh, Oh, that's fucking stiff. That's mm. stiff of you, isn't it, mate? Come on, can't do that. Yeah, that's a um, <laughs> <laughs> no legend. And then uh, Sabransky, the one where I won the bucket hat. Yeah, oh, shout out. That's a good app. That was a good app. Forty six. Forty. Yeah, was it like two episodes ago? Maybe. Yeah, forty six. Three is, episodes. Yeah. That was a good app. Mm. That was a good app. I do agree. But now I'm trying to look for that. Uh, that can I get to it? No. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder why Tim Hanley hasn't messaged me about the jumper. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> waiting to this day. <laughs> but anyway, so what the next one was is I what is our Snapchat streaks important to you? When is Snapchat actually still a thing? Because like a lot of people at this age don't use it. And I see a lot of those memes and shit about how um if a guy asks for your Snapchat at twenty five, don't talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a red flag. Oh so really? If a guy <clears throat> like if you would trying to tune someone and they were like, what's your Snapchat? You reckon that's a red flag? Apparently. Mate, I see so many people with that still in their captions on like still Instagram. Like, oh, 100 can't. 100%. I mean, 100 uh, can't. <laughs> what was that? 100 can <laughs> 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 Anyway, so I, I asked you guys, are snap streaks still important to you? Because one of my mates personally, I know, and I kid you not, this dude, fucking 25 man, has <laughs> 50 fucking people. He has a snap streak with bro. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's that, would, that would give me Brain aneurysms, cuz. That's like 16-year-old shit. That's like a job you have to do. That's fucking... That's some Gen fucking Z shit, cunt. Is Gen Z the new one? Uh, I don't even know what we are. Neither. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking neither, cunt. But anyway, so... It's confusing. It's fucking wild, but... Yeah, that's a bit much. I'm just gonna say what everyone said from you guys. Oh, so we got teens from 3550. If they're still important to people over the age of 18... Bet they still live with their parents. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. That's yeah. a fucking shout though. <laughs> that actually is funny. Fuck, I'm moving out soon. All right. No, I'm 27. I don't understand their importance. Yeah, that's a that's a fair bump. Yeah. And I agree because I'm 24 and I also think that. But try and lose your streak with your missus. And yeah, that's a... Game over, can Yeah, that's game over right there. Hell no from Natty McLaren. Founder of Distant Culture. Everyone check that out. Mm-hmm. Nah, no cringe from the the that, the hat winner, Sabransky. There you go. Fuck, it's very one sided at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's it's all um, no, no, no. Oh wait, yes, here we go. We've got a yes. Ooh. Yes, and I hate to admit it, Rip. <laughs> that was like a yes and no in the same one. Oh, we got we got another one. Sammy Dreschler used to, but then I grew up. Ooh. Ooh. It's 21, 2021. Snapchat is dead. All right, come on. How is Snapchat dead though? I kind of agree with that. Do you? Like yeah. as in dead, like the, the app's just not in use. The only time I ever use it is when the boys group is Snapchatted. Yeah. I think it's because I'm in a relationship. Maybe if you're single, maybe I would use it a lot more. Maybe it's the go. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah, I reckon if I was single, probably, but because I'm in a relationship, like, I generally just see it to see, like, the boys' Snapchats. That's it. I don't think I've fucking messaged anyone off it. 
And I don't check the stories. I told you that just before. Because like, I way prefer Instagram stories. Yeah, no, I do agree. Although you do I find like- raunchy ones on Snapchat though. That's like where people post their like real fuck shit. Yeah, like, fuck shit. Yeah, 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 like on like weekends and stuff. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Dude, yeah. that's good quality sometimes. I like, you know what's the best though? How funny is it having crackheads on Snapchat? <laughs> I don't have any crackheads. Oh, I can't, but all, I know what you mean. Like, bro, they always got their dodgy fucking Samsung Galaxy Ace yes. fucking camera cunt. cunt. Loud music ripping bongs or oh, something. Bro, <laughs> their emojis suck ass cunt. They're always fucking ripping dirty bongs. And Dude. Like, you can't even see their fucking t- face tats because their fucking the pixels are so fucking big. Yeah. All right. <laughs> It's fucking, it's out of control. The emojis is what gets me. As soon as you see like the laughing face, it's like sideways 3D and you're just like, uh, this is just bad news. Oh, and then, and then they post cook shit. Like, like they'll, they'll share something on TikTok. That's like, ha ha. I got called a sociopath. At least I'm on a path. And it's like, can't get, <laughs> get this crackhead away. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so true though. Legit. Shout out to all you crackheads. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Mm, it's good value though. Good value. It's like, good value to watch. Without use. Still enjoy it. Without use. Still it, get the odd like who's chasing, do you? Yeah. Mm. Like without use, I might have done it by now. So I'm actually <laughs> yeah. glad that user out there fucking <laughs> really deter me from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to end up like those motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that you turn into the one of them. You just swap out your iPhone for a Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, that's the rule, cunt. That's yeah, that's rule. What, you got to do it. No, that's no how you do it. if you smoke meth, cunt, there's no good phones, cunt. You're not allowed. Yeah, <laughs> not allowed. You have to have an Oppo from China or something, cunt. Wait, Jay's got an Oppo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does, and that says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, that's so funny. That's so good. Have you got any other questions, or is that about it? You did go on a bit of a posting rampage the last couple of days, didn't you? Posting rampage, mm, I'd story hard, rampage. I posted three, I think. Three. Yeah, I didn't post many. many. True. I was I was gonna post more, but I was like unsure of what to post. As in, like I knew what I wanted to post, but I was like, I don't know. I had second <laughs> thoughts on them. True. I was like, I was like, were these the ones? I don't know. Is I this it? I thought they were good. I was just scared to post them. I was like, does it? Is it like a f- weird question to ask? Yeah. I think it was like, I, honestly, I reckon it's more of the, like the, the questions I wanted to pose are better on live and in person. So I can like, cause it's sent, like if you, if you, you know, if you don't type, if you don't type things sometimes, like if, if you type something, it looks creepy or crude or something like that. Yeah. But it comes you, out the wrong way. Yeah. But if you explain it with informational talking mm-hmm. language, then. Informational talking language. Yeah. Whatever. Yes. I know what you mean. I know exactly. I think everyone knows what you're saying as well. <laughs> On the same wavelength. Yeah, you do. Mm. Well, is that about wrap us up for today, bro? Ice in the veins, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, no, it does actually. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed and uh, yeah, enjoyed our little chat. and give, hope, us a, give us a bow. Yeah, I was about to say, I hope we hear from some people. I'm excited actually. Yeah, same. Because we're going to be famous soon. So hmm. join the team. Help us get there. Yeah, yeah. And help us get you there. Yes, yeah, so you want to be on the tea house train when it fucking... Gets the next station, tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi, you think there's room on it now? At the next station, that's when everyone gets on, mate. So you fucking hurry up. Yep. Yes. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed episode 49, guys. Um, maybe we should do something special for maybe next one or the one after. Because we fucking, that's almost a year of fucking podcasts. Mm. I think we've been doing it longer than a year because I got a memory the other day and it was like one of our first skits. Mm. Fucking oh, insane. Oh, we just like, haven't done it every week for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it's almost 52 episodes. Motherfucker. It's insane. A lot of people were just like, nah. Uh, you know what a lot of people have said to me, actually? They were like, wow, I'm actually so surprised that you've stuck to it. Is that what they said? Why? Well, because like, I feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe a lot of people... Maybe we, have, we have the freshest setup in C- Central Week. Southern Hemisphere, mate. Yeah, I meant that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's just because like a lot of people might start podcasts, but... No, I, I do agree. Lose, um, I actually am. That's like, even on like, because like obviously there's weeks where you're just like, uh, mm. but like, I actually am proud that we have done that because, yeah, like you said, you can just. It's like, hard to be consistent and then like to not get disheartened, I guess. 100%. Doing shit like this. 100%. But that's also why we're expanding the team. Yeah, yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, we'll wrap it up now, ladies and gents. And uh, we bid you farewell. Have a good evening. Good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>